So I have two prints here that used five different filaments and did 465 filament swaps during the print. Can you tell me the difference between the two? What if I told you that one of them made that much poop and one of them made that much poop? And forget about the inconsistent layer line right here. My power actually went out during the print and it caused that one layer to look bad. I'm Jacob with Butter Pockets and today let's talk about some poop. So it was actually this print right here that was printed with some settings that netted about half of the wasted filament. So this box right here. And I don't see any bleeding on this print and it was able to do all 465 color changes flawlessly. I've seen a lot of people talk about flushing volume ratios, flushing into infill and prime towers in order for you to save filament on multicolor prints. But Leon Fisher Skipper 18 over on Maker World took it to the next level and changed the way the printer swaps filament in order to save you up to 50% on your multicolor prints. They actually reached out to me on Reddit and asked me to make a video about this because I guess not a lot of people have seen it. And from what I can see, no one else on YouTube is talking about it. And I definitely wanted to make a video about it because this is such an awesome find for reducing the waste when you do multicolor prints. Now before I teach you guys how to give your printer an emodium, if you don't want to deal with poop at all, remember to check out today's sponsor, PCBWay, if you need a project completed and you don't have the time or the tools to get it done. Now granted, they can't do multicolor prints like this, but they can do FDM, resin printing, and even metal 3D printing in all kinds of materials. They can also do PCB fabrication and assembly and CNC. Their order forms are simple and their prices are really competitive. Check them out at my affiliate link below and save five bucks on your first order. PCB Way even hooked me up with this sweet Christmas gift this year and they always take care of me and so I know they'll always take care of you guys. And they have some really good Christmas deals going on for the rest of the year, so definitely check that out. So first off, uh, don't worry about this. I'll have a video on it soon. So how do you save on poop? That's the most important thing, right? Well, when you do a multicolor print and it needs to switch colors, what it does is it will cut the filament here then it will retract it all the way back into your AMS. Then it will push the new filament all the way back in with that cut filament still left in there. It'll push the cut filament out, the new filament out, and then some extra just to make sure that the color switch went all the way through. And so what Leon Fisher Skipper did, and sorry, I don't know your name, so you're just gonna get called that for the rest of this video, um, is he changed the swap filament G code such that instead of just cutting the filament as it is, it pulls it up 20 millimeters, so the cold part of what was left in the hot end then cuts it, then retracts it, and then it's like normal, it pulls the new filament in, but now there is significantly less of the old filament still in the hot end that the new filament needs to push out. And so you can actually use much less of the new filament to purge it out. So with his changes to the G-code, you can actually just immediately set your flushing volumes to about 0.5, and these can definitely go even lower. And what that does too is it saves pretty much 50 millimeters cubed of filament every single filament change because you're pulling that filament up, not cutting it and not wasting it. This is a really smart way to do it and I'm really surprised Bamboo Lab didn't think of this themselves. So coming back to this print, I know it's not a perfect print. If you look at the overhangs and edges, they're not that great but that's a completely different topic. And what I really wanna focus on in this video is if there's any bleeding or if the color changes somehow messed up, if, if it's not repeatable in the AMS because you're doing something differently than what Bamboo Labs initially had set up in their G code. And I can tell you after 465 filament changes on this model, it was fine. Every single one performed just fine. And I have a little video that I can insert here where you can actually hear it, pull the filament up 20 millimeters And then it cuts the filament and proceeds to do what it's supposed to do in a filament swap. And I have a little side-by-side -side clip here too, where you can see that as it starts to extrude the new filament during a color change, where the old filament stops and where the new filament begins, there's such a time difference. And I realize that this has to do with your flushing volume, but what this shows you is that with Leon Fisher Skipper's change, you can reduce the flushing volume a lot. And in this clip, the flushing volume is already reduced to 0.5. And you can see that I could even reduce it even further because when it switches from gray to blue, 
there's still time after it's extruding pure blue that you could just go ahead and cut it off and you would be able to swap over and waste even less filament. And so those numbers you saw earlier on the front of those boxes, I'll have a clip here weighing those so you can see that I'm not lying about that. And I can put up what the slicer says the weight is gonna be so that way we can compare it to what the slicer reports versus what actually came out of the printer. In both of these, I included the prime tower as waste and I changed the prime tower settings from the default settings in Bamboo Slicer. I set it to only prime five millimeters cubed of material, and this is what the prime tower looked like. It weighed 11 grams for both prints, and it's in those boxes with all the waste. You could subtract that out if you want to because it's technically not poop, but it is still waste. I know you have to have a prime tower, but this is filament that didn't go in the model, so you can include it as waste as well. So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you what those changes are and how to do them. So here on the Maker World post is where you can read even more about this. And this is where I actually got these infographics, which are really, really good. And I'm glad that they provided them because it makes it even easier for me to demonstrate it for you guys. So scrolling down, make sure you read this because it explains it in more detail than I did. And going for my X1, which he has right here, you can see that there's a couple changes you need to make in your G code for your printer file. You need to change one line in your start G code, which is here. You need to change two lines in your end G code, which are here. And you need to change five lines in your change filament G code, which are these two and these two. And you're just adding these lines in. The easiest way to do this is to use the model files that they provide, which will open up a profile on in the slicer that you can just save. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we're here in Bamboo Studio, just drag the 3MF in and it will load those files for you. It doesn't contain any geometry data, that's fine. But what you can see is up here, we have all of these presets that you can do. So since I have an X1 carbon with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, we'll choose this one, then we'll edit it, we'll save it, and I'll just name it Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 0.4 Nozzle Less Poop. And we'll save it as a user preset. Hit OK. And then I would double check that all of these other settings are the same as what you have in yours. I don't think any of these will really change, but just double check to be sure. Another thing to watch out for though is when there's an update to Bamboo Studio, they love to overwrite your settings. And when there's an update to this machine G code, which this was done on July 7th of this year, whenever there's a new one, it will probably overwrite what you have. It may, may not, but I would just double check that when there is an update to this, your profile for less poop gets saved, or you just recopy those G code commands, you find them in here and copy them yourself. Once you've got your printer profile set up, I would just go into here and click flushing volumes and just go ahead and set this multiplier to 0.5 or 50%. And this is something you can tune later, but you can pretty much instantly drop it to 0.5 with this less poop profile. And there you have it. I hope you guys will try this on your printers and let me know how it goes for you down in the comments. I really wanted to try this out when I found out about it. And for me, it worked really well. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I think this really is the best way to save filament when you do multicolor prints. Yes, I know that reducing your flushing volume without doing this can save you some filament, and reducing the prime tower can save you some filament as well, but like I said earlier, this will save you 50 millimeters cubed of filament every single change. And so if you do a print with a lot of changes, that's a lot of filament. And you can see it reduced my filament volume wasted in half. And I'm sure if I tuned my flushing volumes, I could get that down even further. And if you learned something, leave a like, and you can forget about all this poop, huh? If you just subscribe, because your prints will always come out buttery smooth. I'll see you guys in the next one.